Hi, this is Renee, and I'm here at QACTV.com today, as you know. And we're here to talk to two remarkable people who are going to tell us about an outstanding movement that's coming soon. We're here with Jody Simmons and Bob Hardy. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you for having us. Oh, yes. thank you for coming. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm hearing about this movement called the Village of Queen Anne's. Would you like to tell us about it, Jody? Sure, sure. So the Village of Queen Anne's is um, a program or entity that we are trying to develop here in Queen Anne's County um, to serve our senior population and to try to meet some of the challenges and needs that they face as they age and um, that can be barriers to them living independently. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and those barriers a lot of times uh, will actually cause them to make serious life changes, maybe go to assistant living when they really aren't there yet. And they can stay in their home, but it may be two or three little challenges that they need met, met in order to stay in their home. Is that's that true? Ex that's exactly right. And that's what we're trying to remedy with this um, development of this program. Um, it is a program to try to meet those types of needs, a membership program where um, it's volunteer based. So if a member has an issue such as transportation, for mm -hmm. example, um, to an appointment, and they're a member of the village, they could call the village, be connected with a volunteer who can then take them to that appointment. As opposed to without that type of service, they may not be able to meet those types of challenges and may have to make mm -hmm. you know, different decisions, as you'd mentioned. Yeah, that's very important. I know that in the senior community many times as well, um, just simple housekeeping uh, is an issue. They don't have the energy, may not be able to get around, you know, to dust and the vacuum cleaner has become heavy. Would these be some of the services that that may be a part of this? Yes, yes. So the village um, could provide things such as light housekeeping, mm -hmm. yard work, mm -hmm. things like that, that maybe as people age, they're no longer able to do. Um, there's also components of villages that um, can be fr friendly visitor programs or telephone check-in programs for those who kind of are a little bit more isolated. Um, the other things that villages can offer are social programs. So a lot of villages have things like book clubs or social events to try to prevent seniors from becoming socially isolated because what we do know is that that's not best for their health either. So um, a village can kind of provide a myriad of services like that um, to help seniors remain independent. Yes, that's great. It's, it's very important. It's something that we used to do, you know, years ago when you, when we all grew up in, in the, you know, in the village. But as we get employed, we move away. And a lot of times the children aren't close by to, to see that things like that are going on. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So this is kind of a support system that can be put in place um, for people so they can, they can remain safe and happy and healthy in their own home if that's what they choose to do as they age. Well, it sounds exciting, Jody. but tell us, what do we need to do to get started? Okay. What do you need? So we have a committee, we're calling it a development committee, um, and we're trying to pull together folks who are either um, through their profession, have a skill set to be able to help us out, or um, just have a heart for the senior population and want to bring something like this to Queen Anne's County um, to be part of this development committee. Um, this program would eventually develop into its own independent nonprofit, so we need folks around the table who can help us get this going um, and get things rolling to, yeah. to make it its its own entity. So then we can start serving the seniors, which is really what we, we want to do. Yeah, okay, all right, it sounds great. Well, Bob, I understand you, uh, you've you pulled Bob in yes, and that's great. Yes, yeah, so yes, Bob, tell uh, us about you know your part and, and I understand that you're with the Centerville Rotary Club, which is awesome. <laughs> so can you tell us about where you're Yes, uh, Jody and Susan made a presentation to the Centerville Rotary. Mm -hmm. And I immediately, from that presentation, volunteered to work with them in this endeavor. And I thought it was just what Queen Anne's County is. Mm -hmm. It's a county made of people who care. Yes. And I think that's throughout our county. And I think 
we just have to get the core group going, get it started. Uh, currently, both of our neighboring counties, Kent and Talbot, mm -hmm. have a program going. Kent's a little uh, number of years uh, further along and Talbot has just started up. Okay. So I'm looking forward to be parting this uh, movement to get it here in Queen Anne's County. I think it uh, will be a valuable asset to our senior citizens. Yes, definitely would. And we have a lot of services through our Department of Aging, but uh, as people know, a lot of times there's a wait list. And um, so the, it's, it's there, it's available, but may not be readily available when people need it. So this, it would be great uh, to be able to, you know, help the seniors when they need it. And uh, to volunteer, I think if I was retired um, and I had the, you know, time, I can still drive and get around and I enjoy people, I would love to do that. So it's the best way in the world to meet friends. Yes. You mentioned retirees. Yes. This could also, be a good source of volunteers could mm -hmm. be our young people. Yeah. Uh, they could do the, some of the yard work. Mm -hmm. They could just visit mm -hmm. and just share life stories that these people have, you know, learn about their community. Um, it's again, such as Jody said about social isolation. And I think that's where the community can come together. We have two wonderful high schools. We have a lot of, uh, students that do service the community. I'll put a plug in for the Interact Club mm -hmm. at Queen Anne's County High School and Kent Island High School that have reached out to the community for different things. And there are many students that just are looking for uh, something to help uh, help the community and give back to the community. Yes. So it's uh, we're just trying to get the momentum going. Yes, indeed. Well, Jody, tell us if we wanted to contact you to yes. find out how to be a part of the committee, how could we do that? So you can contact me through the Department of Social Services. That's where I work. Um, and you can reach me by phone or email. You can call the department. Um, my direct phone number is 410-758-8032. Um, our group meets monthly. We meet on the fourth Wednesday of the month at the Department of Social Services at 1 p.m. But if someone just wants more information, you can call me. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Um, we also will be doing a community presentation in September, on September 20th, 6.30 p.m. at the um, Kramer Center in Centerville. Um, and that is for anyone in the community who's interested in hearing more about the, the village of Queen Anne's, um, how they may be able to become involved or maybe become a member as we start serving the community. Okay, wonderful. And, and again, I want to make sure that we're clear because it, it isn't really um, a Department of Social Services program or department. It is a movement. It is going to be something totally separate, correct? Correct, okay. correct. So I just in my role with the department, I'm part mm -hmm. of this group, but yes, this will eventually become its own independent nonprofit um, entity. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. Oh, thank you for thank having us. It is yes, needed. It wonderful. Yes. yes, I care for elderly parents. My parents have passed away, and as an only child, I can tell you firsthand, it is needed. Yes. So We think so too. <laughs> yeah, we yes. wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you. And we're glad you're in the village. Yes. And Queen Thanks. Anne's County cares. That's right. Queen Anne's County cares. That's so true, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.